So in this video I'm going to be talking about what's on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I've got a layout of the left side being widgets on the right side being apps and on the other page I've got the left side as widget but the right side is folders. So let's start from the first page. The first widget I have here is the clock widget which shows the time of Kathmandu, my hometown. The second widget below it is from Alpenglow. This is a very good app if you are a photographer and want to photograph during a blue hour, golden hour, sunrise sunset because this tells you exactly when that is and below it is batteries currently it's only showing my phone battery because I've got it on the airplane mode but when I disable the airplane mode and I'm connected to Bluetooth it also shows my Apple watch airpods and any other Bluetooth headphones battery life here as well now let's come to the apps and I've got the health app uh, reminders and tick tick which is the alternative to reminders I rarely use that uh, but I just have it on the off chance when I'm going when I'm going grocery shopping this that I have calendar app here and followed by the photos I also have notes Hammer pop through is a basically a calendar Nepalese calendar app followed by clock and one password which is my choice of password manager followed by camera and I also have app store and then settings on this page now on the dock I have the dialer and the other one is my preference of browser which is brave browser and I also have messages and YouTube music right here coming to the next page the first widget I have here is CPU X it basically tells me how much um, CPU I'm using or the data I'm using this is a pro version and the free version as well the free version obviously comes with ads you don't have to pay for all the other features um, you get all the features in the free version as well the only thing is that the free version has ads that's it currently it shows the today data I've been using and that's pretty much it if I click on it I can go into much more detail about my phone um, below it is the weather app widget and then I have a calendar widget as well now coming to the first folder, I have food. Um, I've got three apps inside of it, Uber Eats, Menulog, and Hey You. Um, the other folder is Travel. I've got Apple Maps, Waze, TripView, which is specifically to Sydney, Australia, and Melbourne, Australia, I think. Um, I have Uber, Airbnb, Didi, Ola. The Didi and Ola is basically the Uber alternative. Next is photography. I have Lightroom. It is where I edit the photos I shoot on my phone and also on my DSLR at times. I've got InShot. This basically helps me create a proper grid for my Instagram. Lens distortion is basically where you can add filters to the photos you've taken. Snapseed is pretty much the same. You can add filters to the photos you've taken there. Camera Connect is an app that helps me connect to my DSLR. Alpenglow is the app that I talked about before it basically tells you when the sunrise sunset blue hour and golden hour is layout is an Instagram app it basically helps you create a layout for your Instagram now coming to utilities folder uh, first I have is files now uh, the other one I have is anchor anchor is basically an app where you can record your voices create podcasts etc voice memos compass Ma measure U ug which is the ultimate guitar app if you want to learn guitar this is the best app that you can use to learn um, obviously there is a premium membership that you can pay and you can use this app to learn new songs play new chords cpu x is basically the app i talked about before it helps you monitor your cpu usage or your data usage i have calculator and utilities here um, coming to the work or study i have slack since i work as a business analyst this is the mode of communication in my company that i work otter is basically an app that helps you captionize the meetings that you're in zero me is basically where i keep track of all my sick leave and annual leave and payslip confluence and jira these are the apps provided by atlassian and this helps keep documentation and tickets of the issue created at work in track tempo is basically the app i use to log time in a ticket that i'm currently working on at work dev snippets is basically a note creating app this helps you write code i haven't used it i've installed it but based on what i hear that is what it's supposed to do beer is a note app alternative it is very clean it supports code and it is very cleaner than what apple notes is programming hub is an app where you can purchase a lifetime subscription and then you can learn how to code there are different kinds of programming languages available in this app and you can make the full use out of it currently i'm studying php and i have completed about 16 percent of the course so far 
coming to the next folder which is shopping I've got eBay Amazon Oz bargain is an app here in Australia that tells you about the deals going on throughout the online forums or anywhere in Australia and you can make online purchases to it I've got Gumtree this app helps in finding jobs selling stuff buying stuff at a very cheaper price I've got domain and real estate basically they do is help you find a an apartment or a house that you want to buy or rent there's Gucci this is an AR app that you can use to try on stuff before actually even going to the store so say you want to try a Gucci watch or shoes all you have to do is point it to your wrist or to your feet and then it basically puts it on for you and you can see before even going to the store and trying it shop is basically a parcel tracker app IKEA app this is pretty much the app where you can go search stuff buy it online and collect in the store or have it delivered to you Groupon is an app where you get pretty much deals on a very discounted rate you know, like coupons and stuff the next is finance app I have Commonwealth Bank here where this is the my main bank Comsec is basically a trading app developed by Commonwealth Bank wallet app is since I've got this many bank accounts this wallet app is one place which keeps tracks of all my bank account finances everything here latitude is a credit union where I have a credit card and that I used to be a member of this bank before I switched to Commonwealth splitwise is basically an app that helps you split bills amongst your friends and people you're sharing your room with remedy is an app with which you can send money to overseas country I use this to send money to, over to Nepal world remit is pretty much the same PayPal everyone knows about that Citibank AU is another bank that I used to use way back 86400 I just heard about this bank and the UI is so good I had to try so that's why I downloaded it and then played around with it ING is a banking app I don't use it I just thought that I would be a member of this so I wanted to install the app and give it a go then beam it this can be used to send money to other friends who use beam so that it transfers during the same day even if you do not have any transaction between a friend it can still send money in a day instantly as soon as you transfer it's there as long as you do have the beam account Kohl's mobile wallet this is another credit card app that I used to have to keep track of how much I spent on my credit card SSBC AU is another banking app that I don't use but as ING I was trying this as well coming to the another folder it's social Vero Vero is basically an Instagram alternative with no ads and no data that's being sold to any of the companies Facebook Twitter LinkedIn Viber it's a social uh, messaging app uh, I use this to communicate with my friends but I've been using less and less because I'm using more iMessage as my friends are moving over to iMessage finally snapchat Instagram messenger Pinterest WeChat reddit Facebook ads tumblr coming to entertainment I've got Netflix crunchyroll for all the animes that I need to watch YouTube Prime Video Disney Plus TikTok Tidal Tidal is a really good music app if you want to listen to music on a very good high quality this will give you the ability to do that YouTube Studio Amazon Music that's pretty much it here coming to the Google Apps we have Google Maps Gmail Chrome Google Photos Google Home Google and then Meet Hangouts Google Calendar Authenticator Assistant and the Google Drive now coming to the Apple section we have FaceTime Apple Store Apple News Home Books Podcast Mail Safari Weather TV Wallet Stocks Tips Music Screenshot iTunes Store Find My Translate Contacts Fitness Watch and the final piece of the folder is miscellaneous I have Lifex here this is my choice of smart bulbs that I use here because I don't need any kind of bridge for this I can just plug it on the socket and then I just connect it to the Wi-Fi I don't need any bridge I can use my Google assistant to turn the lights on or off I have the speed test here this basically tells me what speed is my internet at times it helps me keep track of it when I'm working because I do not want to face a slow internet connection especially when I'm working fast does the same thing Resometer. this helps me calculate the pollution that's present in the ear so 
present in the air. I've got the Sony headphones app. I've got ExpressVPN. This is my choice of VPN so that if I'm ever in need to watch Netflix that's not available in Australia and available in the US or any other country, I can use this to watch and consume the feed of a different country Netflix. Lenovo Link Pro, I have some LED strips from Lenovo and this is what I use to control it. This is also, uh, this works good with Google Assistant as well. The Link Wi-Fi is my router app. Shazam, sometimes when I'm going out and about and if I hear music, I don't know what that is, I can quickly go to this app and then, you know, Shazam it to know what it is or I can just ask to Siri itself. I've got my Telstra, Telstra is my carrier and to keep track of my usages, this is what I use, service NSW, this has my driver's license, my altitude, this tell, this app tells me how high I am, so I downloaded, I downloaded this app when I was going on a hot air balloon, so I wanted to know how high I was much more accurately, so this tells me that. LG ThinQ, this is the app for my TV, same goes for the LG TV Plus. The Connect and the Connect IQ is my Garmin watch app. My Bupa, this is my private medical health insurance, cam scanner, so sometimes if I want to scan documents, I can quickly use this and then share it to my friends or email it to someone I need to. Coming to the next page, picture this, sometimes if I want to find a specific type of plant when I'm shopping for one, this helps me recognize what plant that is. I can just point it to a plant and then take a picture and it tells me this. Flow is basically a period app. This is mostly for my girlfriend. I just help her keep track of it so that she knows when she's going to have it and she's on top of things. Tile is the app, so sometimes when you lose your wallet or keys, it's good to have a tile attached to your phone or to your wallet or to your keys so that you can quickly go through the app and then ping it and find it find out where it is mega is a google drive alternative you can store images documents whatever here solo watch is an app that helps you monitor the solo players ikea store this is an ar app this used to be the initial app that ikea had but now they've discontinued it and the ikea app i showed you previously that is the go-to app for ikea now opal travel so if you're traveling in sydney or melbourne you need this to keep track of how much balance you have in your opal card and you can top up your opal card right here it makes transportation easier and you don't have to wait in line at the station to top it up Casa is basically my smart plugs app. This helps me keep track of my smart, smart plugs and I can use this to connect it to the Google Assistant so that if I have a new plug, go to this app, hook it up and link it to Google Assistant. So every time if I want to turn it off or on, I can just ask Google. Outlook is not my preference of mail, but I initially started my digital life um, with Outlook. The next one is Dropbox. I rarely use it, but sometimes if I need to access really old files, I have this because previously I did use to use this. Color widgets is basically to create widgets for your new iOS 14, and then you can have different clock style widget. Photo widget is basically, as the name suggests, you can create widgets of your photo and put it on your home screen. Widget Smith does the same thing. It helps you create widgets, different style, pretty much the same. That's all I have on my iPhone. Thank you very much.